But right now, we are going to get you organized. Honestly, this is the thing. This is the day you are going to sit down and say, "I will get organized. I will downsize." And right here, I Helen Volk. She is the master downsizer and organizer and beyond clutter. Tell us about it. How can we downsize? Oh, downsizing is one of my favorite topics because, yeah. as you know, I've done it myself. Yeah, I had it. She's down. She had oh, a big house. Ten house. Yep. Yeah. Then she went to a, a condominium. Yeah. No attic, no basement, no garage. And then I went to a large three-room uh, apartment, and now I'm in a small one, 867 square feet. Oh, my goodness. And I'm small. on a waiting list for a two-room apartment. Okay. And someday I may be in a um, studio. It's going to be I up to the cat. I think looking for a tree house right now. Oh, some of those tree houses would be <laughs> fabulous. They're actually making houses now that are 900 square feet. I saw that. And it's, it's so I'm there. I'm yeah. there. I'm just ready to do it. I actually saw a closet in Manhattan that was made into an apartment. Now, granted, it was a larger closet, but it was a closet. And what they did is they actually put the bed up on, you know, this, and then they had shelves and it looked, but she had an office too, so she could work. So. Well, I think downsizing yeah. space is fabulously something people should think about in these economic times. Um, I often look at what costs of houses are, then you have all the taxes, and I think back to what I would be paying and therefore have to earn yeah. if, in fact, I still had that big house. Um, Hama Gandhi always said the best benefit he got from dispossession, as he called it, was freedom. And I actually understand that because yeah. I don't have to worry about mowing the lawn anymore or taking care of shoveling the snow in the winter. And there's a lot of freedoms that come from not You're owning too much right. yeah. and from not having too much space. Why do two people need 3,000 square feet when the rest of the world lives in such small space? That's exactly right. I mean, right. it's something we really need to consider. And the reason we need the space is we have a lot of stuff. Stuff. It's the stuff that is driving the need for the space, which drives the need for the income, and so on and so on. So I'm a great believer in having what you enjoy, having what you use, and living with a reasonable amount of things. Mm -hmm. Now, when people downsize, this is usually their goal. With downsizing versus decluttering, usually comes a move in space. Mm -hmm. And I great believe that, um, in my experience, I've been doing this, as you know, since 1991. No, no, a long time. A long time. So is in another life, she was an attorney. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I decluttered that. You, you know, that's decluttered gone. that. That's out of her life. <laughs> <laughs> so um, decluttering is the first step in even downsizing. So you have to learn how to let go. And learning to let go, to me, comes in multiple steps. It's like school. You don't start school in high school, you start in kindergarten, so you have to start with easy stuff. So I, I jokingly say when I do my talks and workshops, you start with the things you don't want people to know you've kept. Your ratty towels, your outdated food, your um, outdated magazines and information. If somebody's going to walk into your house tomorrow to clean out, these are the things you don't want them to see. You don't want anybody to see. Well, even if it's an unannounced visitor, heaven forbid, an unannounced visitor, um, <clears throat> you don't want them to see this kind of stuff. There's a good way to start getting rid of those things. And if they're out of date as far as food, uh, you have hazards mm -hmm. of ingestion and so on. I call this the easy stuff. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to keep this stuff. Just start getting rid of it. Why? Because the only way you get to be good at decluttering and letting go is through practice. It's a sport. Mm -hmm. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. I think you, you're right. I think you're yeah, right. You yeah. work through the emotion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You work through all the time excuses. I don't have time to do this. Maybe I'll need it someday. You work through all of that by simply letting go of all the stuff you know it's time for it to leave. Mm -hmm. Downsizing's a bigger chunk. Now, people can declutter and get rid of what they don't use, which is usually 20 to 30% of what they own. But people who downsize into retirement communities. Yeah, they got to get rid of it. Even the stuff that they like and they, they you know. Or they, when I left 10 their rooms. Their hobbies yes. and their things, yeah. Yes, you, you keep the things that bring you joy mm -hmm. and the things you're going to use and you let go of the rest because you going to accumulate more. Absolutely. I mean, that's the nature of that's the beast. That's the nature of the beast. And I know she has a rule that when she brings something in, something goes out. Is that right? Yeah. Were you reading my story about the yes, couch I did. that couch was coming? Your TV. She got rid of a TV. Oh yeah. I ordered a couch, and the minute I ordered it, it's. I said to myself, I live by one in, one out. What does that mean? I need to get rid of a couch size amount of stuff because I believe in same size. 
I mean, I can't buy a couch, get rid of a paper clip. So you had to get rid of your diamond collection. Oh, I wish I, oh, wow. <laughs> no, I might keep that. But I got rid of the old television. I gave that away with a stand and everything. And then I gave a carload of stuff to a rummage sale. And then I followed it with a second carload because I love getting rid of stuff. Um, and yes, the couch arrived on Friday, by the way, and it fits, the space was empty, the movers were in, they were out, they go, wow, look all this space. I go, yep, bye, you know, it's like, they were great, it was a quick, easy process, and I got rid of so much stuff, it was wonderful. You really wonderful. should sign up for her newsletter, and the reason I say this is because her newsletter is so great. I read it every time you send it, and it tells you, like, who's looking for what. Yes. In other words, there's these garage sales, or this this organization, and this uh, animal protect or animal uh, humane society, or whatever. Yeah, the it is. bottles, the bottles, and the bottle drives. She'll yes. tell you what's coming up that you can get rid of this stuff, and you know, I, with me, I'm usually saying you can you know recycle, go to the you know, you know, get rid of your stuff, but here she's really telling you how to donate it, and, and I think part of it is, it's me. When I look at something, I go, this has value. Sure. I don't want to throw it out. I want to give it to somebody who can use it. Mm -hmm. And I think what, that's what you fill. You fill that need in your newsletters. It's, this is her book, Downsizing for Seniors, by the way. We want to mention that. Yes, that's Downsizing for Seniors. It's one of eight books. Yeah. She's and you can get them through writer. my website, yes. Yeah. Um, it, the column is called Decluttering to Help Others. I think all of us are generous at heart. We have good hearts, and we don't want to waste things. But be mindful that uh, there's a little thing you got to realize, that the giveaway market is only for usable items. Right, right. Yeah. So if you hold on to something too long, and it's not usable, it's out of date, mm -hmm. it's old technology. Unless it's an antique. Don't get rid of those. <laughs> if you're going to, you know, you got to be mindful that the time to give away things is now, yeah. because the need is now. It's obviously everywhere. If you can't see it, I don't, I don't know. It, um, and if you're cleaning out your office even, I mean, there's a lot of I collect school supplies. The you know? nonprofit, yes. and you were sending them to, a lot of stuff to overseas at, at one time. Uh, that wasn't me, but that was in yeah, the list. Yeah, yeah, you were. Yes, but I collect school supplies for the Cohoes School District because I live in Cohoes. And we, um, I've always got, I open my apartment door and there's a bag. Mm -hmm. A neighbor has left bottles, bottle caps, um, box tops for education, they leave all kinds of stuff um, because they know I'm collecting it. And so when I donate to a rummage sale or something, it's my stuff, my neighbor's stuff, my client's stuff, mm -hmm. I collect it and I have a three room apartment and I collect all this stuff. And, and you get it moved out. I love yeah. it, yeah. Where can they get your book if they want to find out how to downsize? They need to go to beyondclutter.com okay. and they can order their own copy of it. Okay, and it, I love your books because they're the workshop. workbooks. And I love it. It's like, congratulations, you did this. I know, that. congratulations, so, yeah. She's a real motivator, believe me, you know, so that's really important. It's important in the speeches when I give them, because people are afraid to let go. It's the fear of letting well, go. It's, it's the emotion. It's and not it's all the that item. Emotion. It's not the item. No. It's, it's the not emotion. the item that looms large. And I know it's what it thinks I have to us. These little dishes, and it's like, I don't use them, and I go, my Aunt Mary gave them to me, and I and love them so ready. much. You yeah, know, and, and I, I just can't, every time I pick that up, I think of my aunt and how wonderful she was. So I can't let those go, I know. No, so then what the key is to turn around and find something you can let go, not to do nothing. Yeah. And that is the key, and people go, oh. You can't get stuck on one piece. You don't get stuck. You move on and find something else. Yeah. Yeah. And that teaches us that there are things we all can let go of. We're not stuck. There's a whole universe out there of need that we can give to, and, and my next newsletter, again, will have this column, Declutter to Help Others. But I also can say, since you do have a wide audience, that if anyone here belongs to a nonprofit and they're going to have a garage sale and they want stuff, let me know, it'll get in my newsletter, and it'll go out to thousands of people. She's really good, good at this, and it's very important that, you know, start one shelf at a time, one drawer at a time, Whatever it is, but start somewhere. Start with you trash. You got that night. basket on the floor that's got all these magazines. Go through it. Get rid of. Get, get, do, listen to Helen. She's really good. <laughs> so, Helen Boat, Beyond Clutter, and and pick up her book if you're just wanting to downsize. This is the thing to get started with, and she'll walk you through it. Believe me, uh, Helen. It's always great oh, to see you. Oh, thank you, you yes, Ann. I just it's good love to see you again. You.